Good morning. Mayong buntag sa tanan. I am Dr. Manuel Garcia Jr. I am a general surgeon and I am a fellow of the Philippine College of Surgeons and the American College of Surgery. I am a specialist in breast and head and neck cancer surgery. So I trained, I had my fellowship training at the Singapore General Hospital and the National Cancer Center. And uh, I've been in practice for more than, I think, almost 20 years. I'm currently the chairman of the Department of Surgery of the Davao Doctors Hospital. So today, we're going to talk about a very common problem among Filipino women, which is breast cancer. In fact, the Philippines has the uh, highest, one of the highest cases of breast cancer throughout Asia. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of death among Filipino women next to lung cancer. Before reaching the age of 75 years old, about five women out of 100 has a chance of getting breast cancer. Karon, we're going to talk next about mga sintomas sa breast cancer. Ang unang sintomas sa breast cancer, pinaka-common yun is there is a lump na ay bukol sa susok. Second na sintomas sa so ubang pasyente na ay dugo na mukawa sa nipple. There is a bloody nipple discharge. Pag mata nila, gikagtulog na sila makita sa ilang sanina na ay blood in front sa nipple nila. It is a sign of breast cancer, so you have to see a surgeon or a doctor. Ang ubang patient, ang ilahang unang sintomas, wala sila'y bukol, wala'y nipple discharge, pero bigla lang nabaliktad ang ilahang nipple, which we call nipple inversion, meaning bibira sa bukol or sa cancer ang iyahang nipple. Ang another uh, symptom sa breast cancer po is ang um, pag-change sa skin. Ang ubang panit sa breast, mamaga siya, namurag. Panit sa orange, we call it orange peel appearance. Pag nakay magkapang bukol sa breast ni mo, especially, dari sa Pilipinas, it is very common about 35 years old. We see a lot of patients between 40, ang pinakataas ng incidence is between 35 to 60 years old sa Philippines. Among Western countries, usually about 60 years old. Pero we found out in Asian women, breast cancer is common between 35 and 60 years old. So pag na kayo makapangbukol, na ay buko sa mong nipple, there's a bloody nipple discharge, there's a change in your skin, so breast, mamaga siya, you, it's the time to seek a consultation with your physician. Na po ipagi, pag nalang mo sa balay, you can do your monthly self-breast examination. Makita ninyo there is a chart kung saan pag-examine ang breast ninyo once a month. Kung na kayo makapangbukol, it's time to see your doctor. Pag na kayo bukol, makita pa sa nyo na ang doktor, ang imuha ng doktor, they're going to request for a mammogram, which is a special x-ray to detect maski wala pa yung bukol sa breast. So, huwa po siya na screening examination to detect early and curable breast cancer. Another examination is a breast ultrasound examination. So, sa ultrasound, it can detect mga bukol na naay sign of breast cancer. So makita na sa appearance nila. And it will help your doctor decide what will be the best treatment for you. Once you are diagnosed with breast cancer, you are going to undergo surgery. The main treatment for breast cancer is surgery. So dili ka ma-treat sa breast cancer kung di ka ma-operahan. You have to remove the source. That is the main principle in treating cancer. So in breast cancer, you have to remove the breast or we have new uh, ways or techniques 
in treating breast cancer we call breast conservation surgery. After uh, doing the operation, before the 1980s, 1990s, the standard treatment for breast cancer, we remove the breast. But now, as you can see, pwede na siya ma-preserve ang breast and neck wall. Remember, breast cancer is a curable disease. Pag meron kayong makapangbukol, may blood sa nipol, it's time to see your doctor. There is a double doctor's Dumoy Ambulatory Surgical Clinic. Since 2017, we've been doing major ambulatory surgery on an outpatient setting. This is now the trend in surgery which will lessen the cost of the operation and also decongest the bigger hospitals. Pinaka-importante there is a major ambulatory surgery sa Davao Doctors Dumoy is barato ang operation. Sa una, operahan ka sa breast, ma-admit ka 3 days, 4 days, 5 days. Pero there is a Davao Doctors Dumoy Depende sa mga surgeon, pag evaluate nila, the most important, kumakita sa mga surgeon na they can perform it safely with the best quality. They will do it in a major ambulatory outpatient setting. The most important, it is a cheaper option in treating breast cancer. So once again, this is Dr. Manuel Garcia Jr. I'm a breast and head and neck cancer specialist. Uh, I have a clinic at Davo Doctors Hospital in the main building. Thank you everyone and stay healthy. It's still uh, pandemic time so we have to wear our masks and maintain social distancing. Thank you and good morning.